Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Six News. Today we had the dev panel for the Rainbow Six Siege universe, which is basically just the lore, the backstory, the character development, and it was really cool. We even had the voice actor for Ash present too, which was sweet. Here's a little clip. Bridget George! <laughs> you know, something like that. Sorry, That's, that was like awesome. This. Now what we also got was really cool concept art as well. So starting off with this picture, it looks pretty much exactly the same as the one that was released just a couple of days ago. Apart from the fact that this emblem on our chest is actually gone in the final release. If you guys know what that is, let me know in the comments below. But also we got to see the incident where she actually got the scar on her face. That's actually Capcan standing there with the knife. And potentially other Russians behind. Uh, maybe you guys can identify which one's which. So Capcan is not looking his best in this and uh, Finca has got a hell of a cut on her face like jeez. So yeah Capcan kind of messed up there. But we also get to see Doc working on Finca after this incident in the infirmary which is really really cool. I love this. And then after that we got some Zofia stuff too. So this is Zofia's kind of character development. The idea that she's a, a mother and this is going to give her more depth. And then you actually see this concept art of Sophia's shoes, her husband's shoes, and her kid's shoes um, to really give her as much depth as possible. And here she is holding her baby. So the idea was to give her a lot of depth by having her be a mother, not just you know, a, a basic operator, I guess. We also got to see this concept art of Dokkabe as well. So what do you guys think about all this? Really cool concept art. I think this is really cool to see. I'd love to see more of this. This is sweet. And I do kind of like the character development. Like if you're not too into it, then it's quite easy to just avoid. But I do think building these characters out more is really, really cool. And the fan fiction out there is just insane how much has been developed over just a multiplayer game with not really any story-based content in it. But it's, of course, now good to see actual CG cinematics acted out, voice acted, motion capture and everything. So I've got this full panel on my YouTube channel. If you want to go check it out, then go ahead. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.